Hi friends, welcome to Wild Cottage. We're somewhere a little different today. We're in the poly tunnel because it, yes, we're in the poly tunnel. He knows that I word. Tell him. So let's go to the poly tunnel. We go in the poly tunnel. We're in the poly tunnel. He gets really excited because it's some of our little special time together. Anyway, so we're coming to you from the poly tunnel today. My name is Susan. This is Shep. He's a retired sheepdog. And yes, I've got to test out this, this, con this, yeah, my microphone. How's my microphone? Is it okay? Okay. Um, we live in the west of Ireland. We live in County Clare up in the hills. And we have a small, uh, small holding for nature. We don't have any livestock. We have an eight cow barn, but there's no livestock. It's mainly full of sheep, please. <laughs> Anyway, that's a whole other story. But I live here with my partner, Tom, and our other dog who we found lost, dumped really in the forestry not long after Christmas three years ago. And her name is Mimi. And she seems to be very much Labrador mixed with, you know, who knows what. But yeah, anyway, so we're surrounded by lots of wildlife. We do gardening. We grow, we try to grow as much of our own food as possible. And I must tell you about what I'm wearing. I'm wearing something really fun. And also, I must tell you Actually, about that. Before I do, I will just say to you that, so the links and information for everything that I talk about will be in the drop down bar. Under this video, there's like a little arrow and you tap that and it should open up. I try to do really extensive links. If there's anything I forget, please tell, say, you know, comment and I'll try to tell you. Um, I love comments. I love replying to comments. It takes me a little while because I don't have notifications on my phone or my tablet or anything. I don't do that, but I'm very um, appreciative and I do want to chat with you in the comments, so I will get to you. Let me tell you what you're going to find on the podcast today. I'll talk about this little fun thing that I'm wearing, which is something I half made. I'll talk about this lovely top, which I won as a prize and um, which I have something for you guys as a giveaway. I'll talk about that as well. I'll talk about my finished objects. I'll talk about my works in progress. I will talk about the Ooh Shiny section where there are some new patterns out that you might be interested in that I'm gonna do some of them. I'll talk about some make-alongs. I find them to be quite inspirational. So there might be something that you would enjoy. Within that, I'll be mentioning other podcasts that you may or may not know about. Um, I'll show you some yarns I got in for the pro for projects that I'm making and um, yeah and we'll talk about uh, the giveaway and we'll talk about how much I had to frog this past week yeah so if you are a returning viewer yay you liked it enough to come back if you're a new viewer yay <laughs> you decided to hit the button to see, to make it play. So Shep is excited too. He's, you, you welcome everybody. He likes to be with me, but if he thinks he's being filmed, he's not keen. So he has to not realize he's being filmed. Yeah, because you're a smart boy, you know. You're, you're not gonna perform. Okay, you lay there, good boy. So anyway, I'm gonna just tell you about this before I take it off because it is getting quite warm. So this is, I can't see, but I'm, it's a like a fun fur. Well, it's not really a fur. It's something I bought at a craft show here in Ireland. I don't even know how many years ago, either at a craft show or at a, a craft shop before I knitted or anything. And I just thought it was so snuggly and fun. But what it ended, what it is, it's like, it's kind of like a really wide scarf. It's not quite wide enough to be a good wrap. Um, and it was quite long. And so I just found annoying because it wouldn't stay up like this and it would because it's very very soft I don't I'm sure it's probably not wool or silk or anything it's probably maybe it's some silk and acrylic or something like that but um yeah so it just it wasn't very practical so what I just did is I you know I picked up stitches and sewed it together to make like you know a cow that you can do you know well this is the <laughs> but you can you know you can give it all of this which I can't really see myself, but because um, of the glare on the phone. But um, 
yeah but you can really you can really really get snuggly in it so yeah what do you think about that Sheppy? i know it's a bit crazy so yeah anyway so i'm going to take that off sorry about that i might have bumped the microphone so i'm going to take that off now and i'm going to just go ahead and talk about the other thing i'm wearing yes and so shep is excited because this is about dogs and animals pets um, this is from an Irish business, a small Irish business that has, I think they just started up, you know, a few months ago and they're called Animal Support Clothing. And they make these clothes, you know, they put different kinds of logos on there. You can put your dogs, your pets names on there, you know, these different phrases. And they were having a competition and I entered and I, I won the giveaway. So I got to pick, you know, the color that I wanted and the style and what I wanted to say. So I got this one that says, you are my sunshine, because I say that a lot about um, Tom and the dogs. So but what's wonderful, okay, so what's really nice about this company and the why they're called Animal Support Clothing is each month they give 10% of their, their sales take, or maybe it's their, I'm not sure if it's the, probably the profits, to um, animal support charities here in Ireland. So it would be a different one every month. So this month it's the My Lovely Horse Rescue and they're all on Instagram so you can check them out there as well. And if you know Father Ted at all, My Lovely Horse is the song that they entered in Eurovision. It was one of the best episodes ever. So yeah, so My Lovely Horse Rescue is who they're supporting this month. And so I'll go ahead and talk a little bit about the giveaway right now. So I got this and also they sent, yes, I know, I know he's, he's bumping me. They also sent me a sweatshirt. I know, don't get your fur all over it though. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to give this one away for a prize. You are my sunshine. And it says you are my sunshine as well. It's a size large. It's a very nice and generous size large. And I tell you that it's 80% cotton, 80% polyester. So it shouldn't really, you know, shrink maybe a little bit. I don't, I don't think so, but it says wash in 30. So it shouldn't really. So it's a lovely, generous, long size. And I'm going to put it in as part, <laughs> as part of the giveaway when we reach a thousand subscribers. So the, I think we're at 600 and some change at the minute, which is amazing because the last podcast I, I had said, oh, we're just, we're over 500. So we've gotten like, I guess about a hundred subscribers in between that time. And part of that is I want to give a shout out to Carrie at My Wool Mitten. And she's a podcaster. She has a sheep farm and she's on the Mitten Peninsula. I think that's right. Of Michigan in the States. And she's so lovely. And I've been watching her podcast and she has Instagram account and all. She's super nice. Like she seems like such a nice, genuine person. And I, w I couldn't believe it. We were watching it, her latest podcast. So I guess that was, you know. It was less than a week ago and she gave a super, super wonderful shout out to our channel, to Wild Cottage Ireland, Slow Life and Knitting that, you know, so this is my knitting and crafting podcast and sometimes Tom pops in, but we also do other videos as well. And we keep threatening that we're going to do a video podcast about the slow life, about the nature and the gardening, which we haven't really sat down and done yet, but is going to happen. So she gave a wonderful shout out to mention in Tom and I and the dogs and you know the knitting and all that and it was so fantastic and I think that really brought in a lot of viewers and if that's you thank you so much really appreciate it really appreciate all everybody so yeah so I hope you keep enjoying it definitely so this is going to go into the giveaway I have a few other things that I want to add there as well um I don't know how long it will take to get to a thousand. So, I mean, I, I'm not expecting that's going to be next podcast or anything. So it'll be a wee while. If you're a maker or if you want to donate something, definitely do. You can, best way is probably to contact me on um, wildcottagepodcast at gmail.com. And yeah, so I'll, there'll be other things and I'll arrange it so that if you have absolutely no use for a size large, jumper that's not the prize that you will win if you see what i'm meaning so anyway okay i know it's getting warm isn't it it's getting warm in here 
Okay, so I have my notes so I don't get too off track. Yes, I know, I know. Put the notes here. Okay, so my first finished object is I finished the winter, the Irish winter coastline shawl, as I've been calling it, for my friend. I've taken some pictures and I'll insert them here. Yeah, so, and I have a little video of just how I blocked it, the mats that I use and all. And I just blocked it so that I could have a few, I didn't make a Pico bind off, but I blocked it so it would just have little gentle points on it. The Irish winter coastline, as I'm calling it, shawl in soaking. I've already washed it. I put a little bit of conditioner, hair conditioner in there and some lavender oil. So it's uh, just soaking that up. Then I'll take it out and roll it in a trowel and step on it to dry it somewhat. And then I'll put it on my blocking mats, which are just play mats. And I'll show you that and just pin it out to just give it a little shape. Yeah. And I'll record that for you as well. Okay. I just have these little play blocks of which I should get another set because they're really not quite big enough for some of the bigger things. I got these off of Amazon when lockdown first started and everything was shut, but I think if you find these, you know, like, um, you know, like the Euro shops that are open because they also sell household things in the toy section. Um, they're great. They were inexpensive. I can't remember how much they were. I think they were under 15 euros. Um, but yeah, I think they're just as good as a name brand thing. Maybe a name brand one for knitting might be a bit thicker for you know pinning knitting and crochet but these seem to be fine I just need more of them the little pins that I use are these from knit pro um it was a pack of 50 it was wasn't real pricey either the only thing that I find annoying is that actually I don't know if you can see here see this little thing maybe you're supposed to use that for sometimes but I find especially with like fingering weight or something it can get hung up in my stitches and pull them a bit sometimes you know it just gets tangled in there because I'm just probably just a you know a hot mess when it comes to things like this you know like and I've had to pin <laughs> onto my pillow and I pin one here because I don't have quite the thing so but basically just how I kind of do my blocking of my shawls and I put them near the wood stove to dry because of course that's always a challenge in the west of Ireland. And it made a really generous size. I used the Sea Rocks colorway by an Irish dyer. That's Eve Chambers Textile and she's on Etsy and that colorway is on Etsy and it was a BFL. So whips! What am I cracking on with? Whips are works in progress. Okay so my whips are really mostly a frog story but I will show you the one that has not been a frog story. I've started, since I finished the other gift knit that I did, I've started on my um, lovely, that's the bag from Fairy Row Yards that I have it in. Started on the lovely alpaca, the black alpaca shawl. Again, it's just a simple triangle shawl because that's what Susanna liked. And I, I'm just doing the, um, slip stitch salvage or slip stitch edging and I'm knitting it rather loosely because I kind of like the way that it makes it a little fancy because it's just out of her alpaca so it's just going to be a plain black shawl which is what she wants big enough where she can put it over her head and all and um, so well it's so bright so that's being blown out about out a bit but it is black black and it is so, so soft. I have to say, like, this has been such a joy to work with because I've been working with the BFL in the Sea Rocks, which is fine, but it's, it wasn't feel as nice. You know, when you, once you wash it up and I put conditioner in it and it feels lovely, but just working with it as a yarn, although it wasn't unpleasant, it wasn't as much of a joy as this is. I don't know, so, just the knitting experience has been wonderful. So I'm, I'm knitting away on that. And then my other uh, work in progress that is actually still progressing are my um, January, February socks for the Rainbow Sock Chronicles. And I had to frog back on some of this as well. 
I'm not sure where my head has been at this week. I just really, really had problems concentrating. And if anything disturbed me at all, I just so lost my track. So I, you can see, I'm just going there. And I somehow I picked it up and I've done this twice, three times on different projects. I don't know how I've done that. And I'm start knitting the wrong way. I just don't even ask me. And so I didn't notice it for a while. And then I was like, wait, something is really wrong. So I had to rip back and that, that was fine. The that other was... work in progress that I had been doing was my Donegal. My Color Play Cow Donegal Yarn Mosaic Shawl. The pattern, pattern is Confundo Shawl from Barbara Benson. It's a great pattern. Um, but I just, again, I totally, I don't know what I did. I messed up on the repeat. The repeat isn't hard. What, what happened is Tom was talking to me and I also was getting excited about reaching the color work part, the mosaic color part. So I was probably trying to go a little too fast and I was half chatting with Tom and the, by the time I looked I at it, I was knitting the, the wrong side row on the right side. So I'd flipped it and because the pattern was a little different from what I'm used to, I ripped it back and then I couldn't read, I couldn't read my knitting to know where I was in the pattern and anyways, I, so I just end up <laughs> I frogged the whole thing. So in the week where we have not been chatting, I got some new yarns in from Arctic Crafts. I think I'd mentioned that. I don't think I had the yarns yet to show you, but I decided that with this one here, this one is Kaleidoscope. Okay, there. I can't tell what is the reflection and what is actually on the film. So there's her tag, Arctic Crafts, and sent a little snowflake stitch marker. So cute. Um, this is the Kaleidoscope colorway. Isn't that lovely? I think I did show it. And I started doing a cowl and I did the same, I did the same thing that I started, I picked it back up and I started knitting the wrong way. I don't know how I'm doing that. Like, how am I not paying enough attention like that? So I had to rip a fair bit of it back. I still have to rip this little bit back um, because part of it, yeah, anyways. So, yeah. So that is not nearly as far along as I want it to be I'm I can't remember at the pattern at the minute I'll stick it in here that I'm doing but it's a it's going to be a longer looser cow because I'm looking it feels so much like spring it seems to me. very springy and fresh and sort of like spring tide and spring tide this is living in what is probably my favorite favorite project bag it's this one from Nicole at fairy realm yarns I hope I can't see what so hopefully that's showing up. So she's also hand painted these wonderful little sheep on there and it has a pocket. It has the love drawstrings are my absolute favorite. So it has the drawstring, it has the little handle and yeah, I love it so, so much. And it, you know, came with a DPN case and I'm pretty sure it came with a little, um, she often puts a little stitch marker in or, you know, and there was a little lavender sachet. So that my spring tide project is living in here. So the other thing that I was working on and then I had to rip back, if you remember, it was my Brock cardigan by Carol Feller that I started knitting um, on Bridges Day on February 1st. Well, I didn't work on it at all this week because I was having such issues with just the simplest kind of patterns that I thought I knew. I thought I'm not going to go into trying to learn. And, you know, I kind of want to say this to people like I've mentioned on, I think I talked about again, I think it might have been podcast four, three or four about my struggle with knitting, learning, just how long it took me to learn the basics. But it's so worth it. And so, you know, anyone that has a chronic illness and a lot of people now have got the long COVID and they're going through this learning process well, as well, that life can become very much, you know, two steps forward, one step back or two steps back and one step forward. <laughs> um, 
And I find that very much in my life. And it took me a good few years of, of adjusting to a chronic illness to where I got to the place where I'm kind of like, yeah, okay, you know, that happens, you know. So pretty much I'm okay with it. Um, a lot of the time, you know, that I'll be going along pretty well and then I have a setback and then I go forward again. In the main, you do learn how to manage yourself and live with it. So I knew that this week, for whatever reason, my brain was just, it was not working that well. So I said, I'm not going to try the Brock cardigan. Um, but what I did do is, before I realized that my brain was going I, funny, I, um, yeah, I volunteered for two test knits. <laughs> because what am I thinking? Oh, but okay, so I'm going to tell you about these test knits. Let me stretch out here. I'm sitting on a pillow in the gravel. I just stretch my leg out. Um, there's only small test knits. And um, I think they're going to be within my ability. But, but that's why I put a lot of these other things on slight hold. And I'm not looking to cast back on, you know, the Donegal shawl or the Brock cardigan. I'm just going to wait because I'm going to concentrate on these test knits. So the first one that I'm doing is, I'm so excited, uh, I'm doing a test knit for Gabby of the Knit Witch, a crafting podcast is the name of her podcast. And she has done a cowl called the Forest Floor Cowl. And it's not super complicated. I'm sure I'm going to be able to do the, the, the test knit for her. And I've picked out my yarns and I'm allowed to talk about it. I haven't started yet, but I want to show you my I'm yarns. going to do a, a lovely fade or yeah, with these beautiful yarns from Giddy Aunt Yarns. Apologies if my fingernails are grubby, it's gardening season. I've been doing a lot of gardening this week, which is one reason I don't have a whole lot done. So there we are. So this was from the advent calendar. This is super duper soft. And because her cowl is a little bit tighter around the neck, I wanted to make sure that I had a softer yarn. So this is, this is a merino. So. I'm looking forward to casting on. And the second test knit that I, I'm doing, I won't talk too much about yet because I haven't actually gotten to chat with her about what we can and can't say. But I'm sure I can say that it's Sandra Conway. She's an Irish designer. She has a shawl that I really want to do, which is how I found her. And I'll talk about that in the ooh shiny section. And she is, she asked for tetters, testers for a pattern it's going to brioche pattern but she wanted specifically testers that have never never done brioche because she's wanting to have this pattern be very beginner friendly and kind of teaching you as you go along so i've signed up for that and i've chosen my yarn so and these are leftovers from other projects that i did so the two smaller balls are from Eve Chambers Textile. She's the one that did the Sea Rocks colorway and she's the Irish dyer. And this is, it's a, it's, um, it's a silk mix. I think it's BFL and silk because she does that a lot. And this is super soft. Like I made my stepmom's shawl out of this and another one of her colorways and one of her mohairs, two of her mohairs. And I'll see if I have a good picture of that. I'll put that in. So this is super duper beautiful and I'm, I love this color as well and I'm going to pair it with, oops sorry, I'm going to pair it with this one which was part of the Ophelia shawl twin set and twin set or two skeins where you make the Ophelia shawl by Burrow and Soar and she's a dyer over in the UK and I love this color. I love this chartreuse color. It's, I just, I, <gasps> look and that's going to be really lovely in brioche I think so I'm, you don't know how excited I am. I'm very excited. If I just keep at it, I'm going to be able to do it. Okay, so those are two test knits that I'm doing. We're going to go into the ooh shiny section where I'm going to talk you, to you about some new patterns. I'm, we're going to have to go in, actually. So for the ooh shiny patterns, we're going to have to go in the house because my tablet is just with the internet and there's no internet out here. First is some of the make-alongs that are happening. So the first one I wanted to mention is my gifting basket. And that is... Uh, kind of what it says. It's things that you knit for other Long people run by Grizzly Knits. And she's a maker in Canada. She has a podcast. That's her podcast name. 
and I've forgotten her, her real name. At the so she does a lot of gift knitting and she also has a basket that like when she knits something that just doesn't have a specific person in mind, she puts it in the gift basket. So this make along is about that sort of thing. Knitting gifts for a specific person. There's a little wren hopping around down there. Um, knitting for a specific person or for your gift basket. So that's a knit along going on. I think that's year round, but I'll put the information. Peace for Peace um, podcast and Michael is in the US. I think he's in the Chicago area. And Kinship and Friends make along. This is a knit along that he's running and it starts in March and it runs to mid April. And then we have also those kind of, nearly those kind of dates are um, Kalisha from the Quirky Mondays Craft Cast is doing the Pis wait, Pisces season make along. And that is running from, I think, February 18th to like sort of the whole, the Pisces, because that's her star sign is the Pisces season. So anything that's kind of, you know, watery and oceanic, kind of theme there so I might put my spring what I'm calling my spring tide cowl in there um cowl and cowl. then we have as well we have the yarn coitus mal happening and now last podcast podcast five I showed you a mix that I was going to do for that for a quite a large shawl like the ones that I really love great big shawls and I'm still going to do that with that beautiful Arctic Crafts yarn and the Fairy Realm yarns and it was some of the Zwartables Ireland yarn and Gideon yarn so really fantastic yarns in there but remember I was saying I wanted to try maybe something a little more adventurous rather than just simply purples well I don't know if this one qualifies as hugely more adventurous again Fairy Realm yarns bag embroidered the Heartseize bag lots of little pockets and doodads came with that so I got some more yarn from another Irish dyer and this is Dye Candy up in Northern Ireland and she has the most vibrant like exciting colorways and truthfully I was looking around I was like oh I love that I love that well they were all sold out but I found ex happily one that I really liked that was still around and it is the Dark Crystal so hopefully this is showing up yeah, this is i'm podcasting outside i'm looking at the reflection and not the actual thing so i'm hoping there we go anyways so i have that and then i'm going to pair that with some minis so this one is going to be it's going to be a cowl as well a cowl <laughs> a cowl for the the cow what's well, actually a mouth but the, i think the way that i'm going to do well, first let me show you the yarn so these are all some from the other, the, the advent calendar I got from um, Felt Fusion. And look at those. I hope they're showing up. Aren't they beautiful? And I think they're going to look really lovely together. So doing the maths, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to have a section of this held double with itself and then held double with this then this then this and then then there'll be another small section of this held double with itself and i think that that will make a nice cowl i haven't decided on the pattern yet there are a lot of different options or i might just do you know no pattern but i have been thinking about so i've also been thinking about maybe making a small shawl because I got in my Carol Feller book arrived about knitting with rainbows and making the gradients and all. And there are just, I love that, I love that some of the photographs in here because they went around Cork City and took pictures like with, um, you know, along the different street art and all. I really love that. I hope that showed up. But as you can see, I mean, look at how look at these beautiful patterns I mean really really lovely so I don't know for sure that I'm going to look at this one do one of her patterns right now for this mal because I won't have time and I'm 
I need to just do something like super duper simple for my brain because I'm going to be concentrating on my test knits, which I want to do really well, especially that brioche. But I'm really, really excited about that. And to try, I have not used Dye Candy's yarns or her fiber before. She dyes fiber. Okay, so those are some of the mouths that I have been interested in that I wanted to tell you about because you might be interested. And within that, I've mentioned a few podcasts, podcasts that I find enjoyable. And so the Quirky Monday Craft Cast has been around for a while, but the Grizzly Knits is newer and so is the Peace for Peace. So you might not know about them, so maybe you would like to check those out. And My Wool Mitten. You probably know about My Wool Mitten, but she's another one that I've mentioned that you should Especially check out. If you also love to see sheep, because at the end she usually includes footage of around the farm and the sheep and then she has a horse and yeah, it's really nice. So we'll go inside for the patterns, but I'll just mention this now. I put timestamps because I know there are sections that some people might want to skip over. This is a very short section where I'm just going to talk about some yarn and some fiber that I got that I do not yet have a project for. And I'm also going to tell you about a discount code for um, some wonderful yarn. So that's going to start here. So first off, I just wanted to show you in my order from Arctic Crafts, I got this one is called Bubblegum. Look, I don't think I showed it to you last time. Maybe I did. I don't have a, I don't generally buy things without a plan, but as I was ordering, because I wanted to get some more of the one purple colorway and she was having a sale, she was having a sale. I got this bubble gum and it's a fingering and it's 85% merino and 15% nylon, 400 meters and 100 grams. So that was really lovely. So I wanted to show you that. The other acquisition that doesn't have a plan yet that I got was because I was ordering from Dye Candy because for the yarn coitus mal, I also saw, look through her fiber. And first I just wanted to show you because I love that. That's what she wrapped things in. Like she's, you know, if you're feeling blue, that's a good place to go look at her site. And if you, you know, have some extra money and you want to buy some things. That's really nice. So I got this fiber, fiber, 23 micron merino braid, hand dyed by herself. And it's called Global Conspiracy. So I'm looking forward to spinning that up at some point, but I just did, I just randomly bought that because I like the colors. You've probably heard me speak of Cushendale Woolen Mill, which is in County Kilkenny and Greg Namana. And it is a traditional woolen mill they are there. There's been a woolen mill there since the time of the monks in the 1200s. This family has been running this mill in this iteration of a mill in Greg Namana for several generations. And um, they're the ones that spin Susanna of Zwartables, Ireland. They spin her wool. Well, and they spill, spin then their own wool yarn and they make blankets and they make lovely things. But one of their trademarks is they often have amazing, beautiful colors. They are a traditional woolen mill. They, one of the, you can go in, well, you used to be able to go in sometimes and they would do special tours. So I've been in there a few times and they have like one of the machines is from the 1800s. It's, it's beautiful to watch them work and they're so passionate about what they're doing. It's just a small, like it's, it's just a village. It's not even like a town. It's just a small little place and it's really picturesque. So when travel is allowed, travel is allowed that might be a place you want to check out but they are doing um, from now until St. Patrick's Day until Patty's Day as we call it so the 17th of March 2021 they are running a sale um, I think it's on the yarns and stuff I don't think it's on all the products that's but I could be wrong but anyways but on the yarns, for sure on the yarns they are having 15% off with the code KK slash knits for Kilkenny slash knits and I'll put it on the I'll put it on the drop down so you get 15% of off with that and they have two types of wool yarns their DK which I've ordered two colors of that which are not here yet but I ordered it for pressed flower shawl project because the yarns I had had set aside for that I 
you know, changed around to do something else. So, but I still wanted to do that project. It's a mosaic project, slip stitch. It's not proper color work. So I thought I'm going to give that a go. They, that is Irish wool. Most of it is Galway, which is the traditional Irish sheep breed, which is lovely. And so that, so that's their DK wool. And the regular price of that is, I think it's just like slight, it's like 10 euros and change, and then you get 15% off that as well. And the other line they have that they're selling is a mohair, but it's like a boucle mohair, and it's, I think it's 70% mohair and 30% wool. And the colors in that are absolutely amazing as well. And I have some, I have three balls of that from before when I was at the shop their physical shop and bought it some years ago and just been saving it I actually bought it to put into weaving but I haven't woven for so long so it's just it's just there waiting for me to do something so that is a code you might want to use because they have some really special yarns I'm sure the DK I haven't felt it but knowing the Galway breed it's it's going to be rustic it's a rustic wool and it's not super wash so you know hand wash and all that thing but yeah, and some beautiful colors. So do check it out. And they ship internationally as well. I want to have a little gratitude section. So I mentioned first my gratitude to my wool mitten for her wonderful, wonderful recommendation. I mean, it really touched my heart because it wasn't even just like, oh, here's an interesting podcast you might like to check out. It was just extensive and yeah, I just, I feel really, really touched. And so did Tom, because I called Tom and I said, come listen to this. And he was really touched as well. So thank you so much to Carrie. Um, so the other thing, a gratitude thing is to all of you who are subscribing and who are watching and who are liking. And as I said, I, I really want to do a giveaway because giveaways are fun. And it's um, from the Animal Support Center animal support clothing and I'm so grateful for that and one for me and one for you and I have a few other things that I would like to give away and I'm really really super grateful for that and um, also in that I'm also going to do a donation uh, when we reach that as well like a donation to a charity I do here well, what I was just going to ask as I was going to say like mention three charities and ask you guys which one should I donate to, you know, for this milestone? So I, I look into Here that to a charity that you guys help me choose. Um, so I'd like to do that as sort of a giving back. Okay. So I'll pop in the house and I'll show you the pattern. Had some snowy footage at the end. We had a beautiful, beautiful snowfall and it's very relaxing. Just some beautiful footage of the snow falling. And I'll tell you about the fox find Oh, we found some <laughs> Mimi spotted it first a very interesting tuft of fur and I'll tell you about that um, on maybe on another podcast I probably uh, will do a, a wild cottage slow life podcast and we'll put it in that because yeah so check that out because that will be in there and you might find that interesting okay so welcome back we're in the cottage and I just want to show you those patterns that I was I was talking about out in the polytunnel. So now these are going to be on my tablet. They're on Ravelry. Um, I don't think that me showing you Ravelry photos and such on here is bothersome. So, but I'm just warning you in case for some reason I don't understand that it, it actually is hard to for some people to look at it on somebody else's video. So I'm just letting you know that it's going to be Ravelry, fo Ravelry photos. So the first pattern is the Tinne shawl, which in Tinne means fire in Irish. And uh, this is by Sandra Conway. And she is an Irish based designer and she's down in Cork, I believe. And this is the first pattern I came across of her. But I'm going to, she's one of the test knits that I'm going to do. And it is just, look at that. It's a shawl with cabling patterns. 
and I have my yarn for that already, which I'm not going to show you now because I'm just showing you way too many yarns because I'm not going to cast this pattern on anytime soon. But um, it is a super beautiful pattern here and it's on Ravelry. It's a, it's a paid for pattern, quite a beautiful pattern you might be interested in. It's done with fingering weight yarn. Okay, so that's one. Then the next one I have is a free pattern and this is by Carrie of My Wool Mitten and it's her Share a Cup Mittens. And I'll show you this here. You can see them there. So it's a bit of color work. It's a free pattern, but she, she does um, say that it, she has a lovely, um, some lovely information here about what, how much it means to her knitting mittens and the symbolism of this. And she's, you know, it's a free pattern, but she says that she would love very much if in lieu of payment, you could donate to a food bank, um, particularly if you donate some good coffee, good tea, good hot cocoa, because those are things that often don't get donated, but are often much appreciated. So I thought that was really wonderful. And I'm going to do that. The third, the third pattern is a paid for pattern, one that I have been waiting for for so long from the very minute I saw um, her put a teaser photo out. And this is the Fox Whisperer shawl by Judy, the Autumn Acorn. And I bought that straight away. <clears throat> and she, now by the time this goes up, this sale will be over, unfortunately. But she was doing a buy one, get one free with any of her patterns. But Today, I think, is the last day, and there's no way with my internet that this will upload in time for you to see it. But what I would say is subscribe to her newsletter and also follow her on Instagram. You know yourself. That's a good way to get in with the discounts when patterns are being released. So this is the Fox Whisperer shawl. Look at that. Let me get a bigger set of photos. It has a hood. <clears throat> I'll open this one up. Um, and it's knit, <clears throat> pardon me, so there's a look at it with the hood up. It's knit with, you know, the unspun yarns like um, Nutidin, which seems to be sold out everywhere, and Plutalupi, which I, I'm having a hard time finding. So I'm just thinking, I've never knit with those kind of yarns either. Um, so I'm wondering, I am going to show you this because I, I can't remember if I shared the video where I showed you what I was thinking about doing with some of these. These are all Irish wool, um, hand dyed, naturally dyed, and they're Irish wools. And I had a plan for some of them, but I'm thinking, I wonder if I could just sort of loose, very loosely spin up some of this into the yarn weight because I have a lot of it and this is uh, this is the Galway sheep breed dyed by my friend Sandra Marshall who's part of Irish Fiber Crafters so again you can often get these things through Irish Fiber Crafters if you're interested in Irish wool um, and this is a bat of Galway and she's dyed this with matter root and I have lots of bats of this and then for the ed the lighter colors I have several bats of this one here, which is was dyed with um, lesser hogweed. So it's just a very, made it a kind of very light, creamy color. And this one, which is dyed with horsetail. And these are dyed by Sandra King of Meet the Wool. And again, I got these through Irish Fiber Crafters and I have a few bats of that. So I'm, I'm sort of playing with that idea. And also I kind of picked out yarns for my share a cup mitten. Um, Cause I had these beautiful Donegal, Studio Donegal wools in the Aran. And that I got when we went up again on, when we went up on our trip up there. But they have a website and I'm sure they would ship internationally as well. So I was thinking that I don't quite, I don't have quite enough in just the two, um, but I might make mismatchy mittens. Do you know that way? So like the cup might be this color. I don't know, but I was thinking, but these are really quite far ahead, but those are the only sort of yarns I, I'm going to show you when I talk about the patterns. Um, so let me speak about the next pattern I wanted to share. 
So another pattern that I got is the Weirdling Hat by Marina Skua, who has a lovely podcast as well. I really like our podcast. It's one to check out. And it's, well, this one's showing me. And so it's about, it's under five euros. And this is, so it's going to be one of my, when I actually go into stranded color work a bit too, that's probably going to be one of my first things I do as well. Because she's super helpful as well. And I just think that this pattern is really lovely. Um, make it come up here. And then the other uh, patterns, it's a set of patterns that you probably know about because it's from Knitting X Pack and she's like got a huge following. But I am going to try this as well because you know, I'm a new sock knitter. So I'm gonna try some of these patterns. And she's got some lovely dyers as well taking part. Each month is a different dyer. And um, so I'm, I'm kind of tempted about getting some, some yarn from some of the dyers. We will see. But I went ahead anyways and got her sock club. It's around the world in eight socks. And if you check out her video, she has a video about it and it explains. It's a super good value, especially now with an early bird and there's a discount code. So you get the eight sock patterns. But not minute. only that, not only these eight sock, sock patterns, but she gives you all the information about how she does her German short row and about her vanilla sock pattern. Things that are really helpful for like, you know, somebody that's not real... Um, familiar with all the different ins and outs of sock making. So I've taken, uh, I bought those patterns. So you might be interested as well if you are also, um, you know, foraying into sock knitting. So I just wanted to share those kind of ooh shiny patterns that definitely distracted me. <laughs> so, okay friends, well, I'll bring you back to the polytunnel now. So I'll just do the little closing here. Um, I wonder if you can hear all the birds. So friends, I really hope that you're doing well. And if you're not doing well, because sometimes we just aren't doing well, that you're doing as best as possible and know that along with the downs, there will be the ups, you know, that, yeah. Just know that nothing stays bad forever. Just keep on keeping on. It will get better. It will get better. So take care, my friends. Be as well as you can be. It'll get better. With love from Wild Cottage.